welcome to Steve Jackson Games Live. I'm Glory Hound, and this is... Dr. Glory Hog. And today we are going to be playing One Page Bulge. This is part of the classic Pocket Box series that we recently had a Kickstarter for and are kind of in the middle of giving out to all our Kickstarter supporters. We got slowed down by the quarantine a little bit, but as soon as that is over, we are going to be giving this to you guys. However, I want to take a look at this, and we did that on Monday, and today we're going to be playing through the game and teaching you guys how to play. The comments are open, so if you guys have any questions about what we're doing while we're playing, make sure to leave them in the comments, and we'll be answering those for you guys. I need your help. <laughs> now, Dr. Glory Hog is not a huge war gamer, so a lot of this is going to be probably new for you, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the most war game I've ever played right here. Probably, right? Hello to everybody in the chat, too. It looks like we have Mitch and Michael. And hello, Battle Cry. How are you doing? I thought I saw somebody else up there as well. I know Dan King said hi. And Lance, thanks for everybody joining us today. So let's take this here to the table. All right. So. With one page bulge, there is literally like one page here that I showed on Monday, which was awesome. And we cut it down to have this map portion here. And then you also have like in the instruction part that was also part of like the whole one page portion, okay? On the instructions here, here's going to be the little key for your terrain because as you're going through different terrain, your movement is going to get slowed as well as you're gonna have combat modifiers here for being in certain positions like in a forest which you know if you're attacking into a forest you may be shooting other things than people through there so Wild you're gonna pigs, get what <laughs> a rock. i was gonna say trees and rocks not wild pigs a mossy glen maybe wild pigs i guess i don't know i don't know <laughs> and we also have our turn record track here which this is going to be 11 rounds that we're going to be going through during the game okay I've already set up the initial setup of the game here. I we did have nothing. you did you did do nothing. That's <laughs> very true. <laughs> you didn't do anything, but our infantry units for both factions. I'm going to be playing the allied side and Dr. Glory Hogs going to be playing the Germans. For our infantry, they're going to be these little tokens right here. They have like the little X through them and over here on the left here, this is going to be the strength. And then on the right, it is the movement for that. All right. And then we have our armored units. And I have a couple of different armored units. I have a four and eight and an eight and eight here. And Dr. Gloryhog, which ones do you have? Uh, so my infantry are just as strong, but they're slower. Probably because they're so beefy and muscly. Oh, okay. Because they're... <laughs> I've you guys got, are German, German I've got made. I've got a five and six. I'm German made. Uh, I've got a five <laughs> and a six. So we are we have stronger tanks that are slower, and then I also have a nine and a six, which is much stronger and still a little bit slower. So overall, it looks like I think we're kind of stronger but slower. And since this is a semi-historical game or a war game, Ooh, that one ten six. I don't know how to get that bad boy out. We are starting with a ton of the German troops over here because they are coming in. And basically, the Americans have been cut off from supplies because they've come in without enough support. And later on this track here, you're going to see where we're going to start getting supplied with people as we go, reinforcements as we go along. The American reinforcement track is here, and the German reinforcement track is right here. So fewer German reinforcements, but a bigger starting army. We don't army. need any reinforcements. <laughs> I'm sure that's what they said. Probably. <laughs> And then as far as the allied forces here, you see that we do get heavy reinforcements later in the game because that is the way that it went with the Battle of the Bulge, okay? I feel very conflicted because I actually am an allied infantryman, like in real and life. And then you feel like you should have played the allied side? Yeah, I like did two wars and now I'm playing as the Germans trying to take out the allied <laughs> infantryman. I just feel very awkward about this. That Let's was, do it. That was purely just because of like me sitting. sitting, yeah, me sitting on this side. Sure. I decided I would be allied since I'm on this side. But I was born in Germany. <laughs> now, at the end of the game, at the end of the 11 rounds, if you can get a bunch of your German troops across this river right here, so you have to be in this section over here, Easy. that's what's going to score you points. You can't sprinkle them on the board, Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> that doesn't, it doesn't work that way, okay? <laughs> I'm not game. And then that's how, what is going to give you the end game points for that. We're going to count up the strength of all of your units on this side, and we're going to see how well you did, okay? Okay. All right, so Germans 
get to go first, the first thing you're going to do is take a look at your reinforcements that you have here and take those. And this is your reinforcement area right here. And you can place them on any hex right off of this line here, okay? So and get, they are movable right away, okay? So I get three tanks and I get four more brigades of infantry or companies or platoons. Oh my gosh, Battle Cry just watched the movie Clue with my kids and now their brains are melted from the three endings. Real. You know what? We did that this year too with our little player three and it was hilarious because Clue is such a classic movie. Like it's so much fun. Hello, Fatal Paper Cut. How are you doing today? <laughs> it's good to see you guys on here. So Dr. Glory Hogg is going to be going first and as part of your first turn i actually get to roll this dice because i do have air support right here and this is going to determine each round how awesomely windy it is if it's good for me or bad for me and that is a one so not so good but i could add a one to any one of my defense or attacks and put that there so i remember i feel like i need like Specialized tweezers. You, like, you need careful, specialized tweezers careful. in there. That's how they do it, you know? <laughs> Hello, Bob Walker. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so now it's movement phase. You've passed your reinforcement phase. We would usually have a phase to see if your troops are incapacitated, but since everybody's in this starting zone here, we're not going to do that. So now you're going to go ahead and move your troops, and then you're going to attack. All right, so I'm going to move this infantry up here. And then it'll stack. I'm going to actually move this infantryman over here. They're going to reinforce. I'm going to stack up. And you can stack four tall with this, OK? I'm going to move here. I'm going to go, so that's one, two, three. How many does cross the river? Two with a bridge? Yeah, so to cross the river, it's no, it's five to cross the river. With, and with, with the bridge, the bridge mm -hmm. as long as you're traveling on a road, you're fine. If you're traveling over to just an empty space, it's going to be two. So it's one for a road travel. It's going to be two for an empty space travel. For a forest, it's going to be three moving into a forest. And only infantry can go into forest in any direction. Otherwise, any sort of armored unit does have to follow the roads through a forest on that. Okay. Hello, Lone Jedi. How are you doing? I almost missed the bulge, but I made it just in time. We're happy to see you here. Don't worry, we're still battling. We just got started. We the just war is not over. Went over like the base rules of the game, okay? <laughs> You're gonna watch me badly clump up my guys because I just believe in efficiency of murders. The efficiency of murder. I feel like that's I kind of the way to do it, though. You have to you have to get them all packed together so you have greater power, you know. And then I'll have greater responsibility. Greater power, greater responsibility, guys. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm prepared for that. Uh, once a very, a very stoic man told me, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> I'm going to move these guys up here. Casually, pay no attention to them. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see anything. It's fine, it's fine. No problems at all. Infantry. I'm definitely not completely outnumbered at this time. <laughs> You're fine. You say that now. You say that now. I mean, I'm hoping, as far as, like, my plan goes, one, to be in defensible positions. You know, I'm going to want to stay... Yeah, just don't drop a bomb here. Like, that would be really bad for the Germans. I'm going to stay in the forests, in cover. I'm going to stay in towns for cover. And, you know, I'm definitely going to try to push my luck with possibly... And I shouldn't be telling Dr. Glory Hog all my super awesome plans, but... I really want to get his units incapacitated if I can, because as one of the rules of the game, because during the Battle of the Bulge, the Germans had to abandon all of their tanks. Well, not all of their tanks, but a bunch of them out in the battlefield be because of resupply. You know, they weren't getting enough of their the stuff that they needed. And we'll be fine. if Dr. Glory Hog strays three squares or three hexes away from any of these lines, or perhaps I cut off one of these lines from his resupply here, then he becomes incapacitated with that unit, and that unit gets minus two movement and half of their strength, which is huge. So yeah. you're gonna have to really, really watch for that as we play the game, because that would be really, really bad for you. If you have a whole stack of them on there and then all of them get flipped, like that's not gonna be any good. Are you then ready to attack? they're still just double as good as they should be. <laughs> I am ready. 
So I'm going to take these two infantry units right here, and I'm just getting three of them. Oh, hey, Battle Cry says, my fridge is fri fighting the bulge, but it's winning. You know what? I think with all of us being under quarantine status, we're all kind of maybe fighting the bulge a little bit at this point, all okay? Right. <laughs> so these three infantry units are going to attack Echtermark. Echternach. Internacht. You don't know how to say it? I'm German. Echternach. So I'm pronouncing it correctly because I am the German. No, I don't. If you don't know German, you're not pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> okay, so I left when I was like one. Right here, we have you have three of them in here. Yep. So this is going to be a three to one here because like it's it. four to four on these odds I'm use here. This results chart here. Absolutely. But and you're in a uh, you're in a city, so I lose I'm in two. a city and I'm across a river. Okay, so that's going to be minus three. Okay. Yeah. I think that's still good, though, because three to one, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to... So what Dr. Glory Hog is going to do is going to roll the dice. Off the table, apparently. So you We're going to start three. at a four, and then we're going to minus three. So we're going up to the one, and then we're going to go one. over to our odds for three to one. EX. So exchange. We both remove one from the board. All right. So I, this is the only one I can remove from the board, but you do have to remove one off your stack. So I'm happy with that. I'm always happy with an exchange whenever I'm outnumbered. At least I took something out, right? Now I'm going to move into <laughs> this... City. Absolutely. When you are attacking and somebody has had to uh, retreat from that defensible area during the attack or they have expired, then you do get the chance to move into that area when you are attacking only, not on defense. She expired like bad milk. I'm going to attack. Oh. <laughs> Did you just call my troops like bad milk? Yes. I'm going to oh attack across the river here. So it's a two to one. Okay. And you're not in anything, but you see the river's there. So the river gives me a negative one. Like yeah. There. The river is going to give you a negative one on that. Two to one minus one. I got a four. So two to one out of three. That's N-E. So N-E is no, no effect. effect. Either side is affected. We weren't even actually shooting. We, we were, were just, like pew, pew, pew up no, in the we air. Were, pew, we were pew, literally pew. just going bang, 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 that was bang, a, That bang. was a scaring shot. That and was good to scare like, people away. You guys did pew, pew, <laughs> and then we all had a laugh about it, and it was fine. There was definitely not a war. But it was, you know what? Those were warning shots is what it was across okay, the I'm river. i attack two to one over here. Isn't that where you just attacked? No, you I just did here. over here. Oh, okay, over there. So over here, this is yeah. also a river area. So I got a one on that one, which is AR. So attacker retreats. Each attacking unit must retreat one hex if it can do so without oh. violating train or stacking rules. Okay. So you have to actually retreat from there. So they're like, oh, this sucks. Let's go join up with these dudes. And everyone's like, cool, oh. cool. We should also be in a big group here. They're like, you know what? We need more reinforcements. We need more reinforcements. <laughs> we forgot the bratwurst. We forgot the bratwurst. That's a noble reason. To retreat, you know. I'm too far there. You don't need. You don't want to forget the brats, guys. Okay. I'm gonna go right here. The Kurds. <laughs> so if I went right here, there. Yes. That's a negative. There's a negative because you're in a forest. Right? right. So the forest is a negative two on that. Plus you have the river on top of that, which is another negative one. So negative three on that, and you're at. Mm -hmm. Are you at a one to one? No, it's a two. To it's one. a two to one. So it's a negative three, which I don't like. Two to one, negative three. I mean, there could be some retreating. There could still be some of you dying, which I'm a big fan of. <laughs> You're a big fan of me dying. Thanks. Thanks, Dr. Glory Hog. Hello, your dog's news. He says, or they say, good, oh, good, a hex and counter war game. That's right. This is the one page bulge. This is a pocket box game. So it comes in a little box like this. And it is one page of rules, which I thought was awesome. This was a breeze to learn, guys. I'm going to go here instead. So I'm going to take these two tanks. I'm going to attack this one lone super platoon. What? So it's still only a two to one, but there's so only rude. just a river there. Yeah, so, so rude. Well, are your two one. tanks are fives? Yeah. So it's... Yeah, two to one. Mm -hmm. I have math. That yeah. is a one. Okay. So I got a zero. So it's a two to one. So it's AR, which is attacker retreats. I would like more retreating. I am digging this. I... Whatever this dice is doing right here, this is all good. This is all good. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and attack. Same thing over here, which is still a two to one. Okay. Same unit. You only have one guy there, right? Yeah. Right. I only have one guy there. And we still have the river, which is going to give you the negative one. Two. EX. Exchange. We both exchange. <sighs> well, I'm glad that didn't happen with my tank. That would have been worse. That would have been really nice if my little guys took out a tank. Heck yes. Heck yes. All right, so here you're... It's like you fell in a hole. You're in a city, but I'm in a forest. So if I'm in a forest, I take negative two, right? Or no? 
I don't know. No, I'm in a city, and mm -hmm. that's going to be the because you're going into that place. So okay, so it's two negative there. two. But I've got two. It's nines. a defensible place. I got two nines there, so I'm at an 18, and you're at a four. So it's a four to one. Right. Four to one and minus two. Right. Yep. That was four to one and minus two. Ooh. So I got it landed three. like in your box with this. <laughs> Oh, so I can see a little bulge forming. Wait, that came out. <laughs> defender, defender retreats. Defender retreats. Yep. That was this one, right? Yep. Okay. That one. that one. Okay. So we're going to move forward into... And you are going to move forward into the village. Yeah, so the whole point of the bulge in this is the troops will bulging. start... Yeah, will start looking like this. And that's why they called it the Battle of the Bulge back, back in the day. Okay. It was a Tuesday. I was there. It was a Tuesday. You were there. All You're right, very young so looking, sir. Ten to dang. That's still like a negative. There's no thing there. Okay, I'm gonna go from here to there. Okay. So it's still a two to one. It is two to one, and then minus that was two. minus two. So that's a zero on the two to one, which is a tracker retreat. No, um, I can retreat. It's gonna get weird. I'm 100 percent down with these dice rolls right now, guys, and this really just. I mean, you got You got to be in there. defensible positions, guys. <laughs> the same thing there. That's a five, at least. That's a three on the two to one. Which one are you attacking? Uh, this nine. This one right there. Nine to this one? Or this one? This one. The one in the city. Okay, the one in the city? Yeah. So it's still two to one, and that's a three once I take all that. So N-E, so no effect. Dang. Okay. All right. That's because all of my infantrymen are actually in cities right now or in forests at this point. So I'm yeah. getting better results because of that. So if I go into the forest, it's a negative two again. So I'm going to try that with the four fives over here. And that's a one. one. So zero on the two to one, which is a tracker retreat. Yes. 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 We need more retreating on this. I'm going to go back there. Um, and I'm going to go here. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to do it again. Two to one. It's not the best odds, apparently. And that's tracker retreats. Tracker retreats. I'm actually going to retreat back you know what? over here on this 4-5 group over here. <laughs> and so we're just going to get stacked. We're going to get swole. I had two groups that retreated back and, like, got more cover. So, like, we need more people. I see. I see. Okay. And I got one set of tanks that are just like, yay, we're tanks. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and look at the uh, turn record track here. And I don't have receive any reinforcements Perfect. based like off of this. So I don't have anything else that I can do there. That was a great turn you took. All right, I'm well, ready for my next turn. That's not how this goes. <laughs> oh. I'm going to look at these units up here. So these can all move eight here. And Ooh, they can book it. I'm going to go, let's see here. One, two, three. Open nope, I need to go one. two. Nope, two, four, four five, because I'm now I'm on a road. All right. Six. Six, seven, eight. And we're going to land in this forest here with these guys. Just a few tanks. Just a few tanks moving in. Nothing to see here, Dr. Glory Hog. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see where... So, okay, oh, wow. so... Martin went through and found a whole bunch of stuff. They found their like original car war, truck stop, Illuminati. What? Melee wizard from their uh, from fantasy trip. A whole bunch of stuff. That's awesome. Oh, just, it's, it's okay. Uh, I'm I'm looking to see where the cities are at. So you're in a defensible city there. There's nothing there. I don't want to really go go over the line though necessarily. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this guy. Both places are defensible though. Which one is better defense? I think I'm going to move him there. So then I have two infantry in there, and we're going to move our tank forward one here. And. If I go across, it's five, but I can go across the river, and I think that's going to be better for my infantry. We're going to go across there. These guys are going to move. No, that's not a very good position. I'm going to stay in this town. We're going to put this guy in this town, too. Don't go in that town. That town is stacked, okay? <laughs> There's two eights in there, and we're in a town, okay? <laughs> okay. You don't want to mess with that place. That is just, okay. Then we just go around. I'm going to stack these guys here. Yes, excellent. Stack everyone. <laughs> stack all of your people. You know what? The, I only have so many units right now. And I'm hoping. 
I hope you dirty American pigs fall. I'm hoping it's going to work out for me. I feel like I need to leave them back a little. Americans are too fat to even fit in your tank. Oh my gosh, Dr. Glory Hog, so much hate. <laughs> We're going to move this tank up, I think. We're going to move it in here. See? Because I'm going to get the chance to attack. No. Which I'm really not going to be attacking with too many units, really, because... I think you should definitely attack. There's only so much I can do. Those guys should definitely attack those two tanks. I think these guys might retreat, too, here. Yeah, get further away. Well, I was out just out in the road. That was not, like, super smart. Maybe, though, I'll be in here. It's Either way, it's negative two, but I think maybe holding you back one more space is going to be good on that. I think that's all I'm going to do. You cannot hold back the German armies. I would like to go ahead and move my tank up in here, but I don't know. Gorehound, don't attack! What? No, no attacking? Not even these guys here with Listen, this little tank that here? that person has been a flying wombat since 1959. <laughs> I think they know. Where's, Where's Bagstone on there? Right here. All the way over here. So we're not even close to it at this point. No. And you have to get all the way across here, but it's gonna you're gonna pile through my forces pretty quickly. No. If you roll okay. If you keep rolling like crap, yeah. Those then are, it's gonna be fine. Those retreats are gonna help. But I do need to make sure all of my units are in really good places. So I do need to move this tank somewhere. Yeah, you're right, Fatal. It is kind of the centrist area. Uh I don't know where to move it. Um maybe I'll take this tank here. Kind of leaves like a space though. No, I'm gonna leave them there, I guess. No. Oh my gosh, all the choices. So many choices. No, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Okay. So you do, if you are adjacent to somebody, you must attack. You must attack. Unless. Is it must attack or is it must stop? Well, you must stop once you go ahead and move. Toward, once you are in a hex around an enemy unit, you have to stop. But during the attack phase, so now I've finished my move, movement, during the attack phase, you must attack unless you're on the other side of like a river, then it becomes like a may option on that. Oh, okay. So I don't have to attack across the river on that, okay? Oh, okay, so. Listen to me, I'm the advocate <laughs> for your safety. These are equal. Here, except I'm in a better position, so I think I might just wait on that one there. Better position. I think the one I really want to attack with is maybe right here. So I have a tank here, and I have infantry. You're at eight. I'm at eight. That wouldn't even put me at a one-to-one. -one. No, I'm not going to be able to attack at all. Agreed. You should not attack at all. But I have to attack. With at least, no, I have to attack with somebody. Oh, I should have piled him up on here then. We're going to pile him up on there. Whoa. And we're going to do the one attack there. Because I don't think I have to attack anything else. Everything else is across the river. This one here I would have to technically attack on though. So we're going to do that. Let's do it, do it. Let's see it. All right. Let's see these beautiful rolls. Here, take my purple <laughs> die. It's been very good to me. What is that? So that would give me Where a 1 to 1 on this one here. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to 9. That would be a one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. And that is, there's nothing there, so yeah, it's, it's a just a straight whatever. We got a three. Three on the one-to-one. -one. There isn't even a one-on-one -on, -one on here. EX. Exchange. Oh, that's yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was not great. All right, we're getting rid of that infantry unit. They died violently. And then I'm going to attack right here. So this is a one-for-one -one ex exchange as well on here. Come on, high rolls, another uh, three. Where, here? Yeah, right here. So one that's... for one exchange on that. Each an infantry, so it's not the worst. All right. Okay, so that was first round. Now we only have 10 more rounds of this, okay? So 16, 16, that, that is done. So German forces. Oh, you know what I almost completely forgot? I totally should have done my air raid. I had to remember to do that. It was only worth one point, so I don't think it would have affected so anything. So I get my 10, six is what you're saying? Yeah, you get one ten six, and then you get to put it on your supply here, okay? Right, on your reinforcement area. 
Like I'm going to get some re reinforcements this turn as well, though, guys. So it's that's like a super tank. That's helpful. <laughs> All right. So for movement. Okay. I am going to move these guys. Well, we first here. have to check to see if you have any supply lines cut off, which I think you're good still. I think I'm like on. Yeah, right. I think you're pretty good. I mean, all these are like within mm -hmm. three. They're like one, two, three. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go over here, back up. I am going to. You went from here to here? Yeah, I just kind of went down and over because I'm following roads. Because it's five across? Oh, following roads. roads. Okay. Yeah, following roads. Jeez. Not, oh my gosh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> do not assume that we are. You do your thing. You do your thing, Dr. Glory Hog. Okay. Do not assume that we are. <laughs> stupid. I accidentally go. So, people in chat, I know oh. there was somebody saying that they pulled out a whole bunch of their older games. Does anybody at home have this? And have they played before? Because this is like. No, this is stack of four. Oh my gosh, I'm just dropping two games. Previous in the week, it was my first time seeing this game. Because I have not played one, play, one page bulge before this week, you know? But I found going through the rules, it being that one simple page of going through everything, was very simple, very quick, and easy to learn and pick up. There's actually a bunch of advanced rules that we're not using, where mm -hmm. I think on your first time through is probably not the best to use, but on your second time through, definitely, because you actually have points where you can blow up bridges and stuff like that. So you can actually cut off where people are going through, which I thought was really cool as well. I've like knocked stuff over. You, did you knock all the things like over? Like three times now. I don't we need to get you some pinchy things, right? I don't know. Like, my <laughs> fingers are just like the wrong size for this game. I don't even know what I did. I know I knocked the big a bunch thing. Of stuff. The big thing with these type of games, Dr. Glory Hog, is I just pick them up like that. Yeah, I'm trying to I was trying to be slick and it did not work out. For some you are you are consolidating though your forces, so that's gonna be good for you because you're gonna be able to carry out a lot more damage like that. You say that, but it did not work out so well last time. Uh, well, I'm sure you're gonna get you're gonna roll better, okay? <laughs> Flying Wombat says, yes, played one page bulge back in the 1980s. So your dog new says, no, the only game I have from back then is the pocket box of GEV. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Lots of car wars, but got that all much later. Okay. So we have, I know we have Ogre, of course, but I didn't get to play a whole bunch of the Steve Jackson games from the 80s and stuff. So having this classic pocket box series come back is really really cool so i get to experience some of those th gems and they are really gems like we played the awful green things from outer space which is just such a fun game to play it's so exciting going through that ship playing as the aliens or the crew members it's like such a fun and silly game you know whereas this one here has a lot of the aspects of like a war game, and, but the simplicity of being able to bring it to the table very quickly and teach people how to play. Okay. Do you feel confident? No, I've moved a lot of stuff around. <laughs> so you guys are going to have to bear with my big fingers, apparently. I'm just like... <laughs> um, all right. So I feel like I'm ready to do this. So this is going to be the worst part is just making sure that these are... Okay, so we've got 10... 14 here. Okay, 14 on this one here? Yeah, so it's a 3 to 1. But it's, again, a negative 2 because you're in the forest. Right. So 3 to 1, negative 2. Ooh, five, that's not good for me. 3 to you 1, just got a and five. that's a 3. So, an E. No effect. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Thank goodness for being in the forest, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, if we attack here, it's... I think it's pretty even so i don't think we're going to attack there even yeah though, one to one with it being over top of the uh, river and in a forest probably not good okay so these are all fours here so this is a two to one you have both double fours there yeah yeah okay so there's just the river there it's three to one and then the river is here which is going to be a four, negative one two to one because you've got two fours and i've got four fours oh okay sorry i didn't realize there were four there yeah it's okay so it's two to one and the river gives me negative one? Yep, negative one. So I got a two on the two to one, which is EX, which is exchange. So we both lose one. That was here. <sighs> I'm holding it. I'm holding the, holding them off just a little bit, okay? 
<laughs> Flying Wombat says, played war games before RPGs. RPGs are a lot of fun, too. I'm going to go here, which is a three to one. Here to there. Mm -hmm. And then that's over the river and in the forest. Over the river and through the woods, guys, okay? So it's a negative three? Yes. Can I even... Yeah, okay. A negative three, but it's a four to one. Oh, so three six. on the four to one. And then it went down to a three. DR, which is Defender Retreat. All Ooh. right. Well... It does get you Since I did course. retreat, though, you can move into that position, which is a great defensible position. I play baby thief. Sweet baby thief. Can I? But I'm, like, shooting from, like, over here. Yes. So, Since I made your with retreat. the retreating, or if you... I should feel like I'm playing Operation. My hand is <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> you can do this. Or if you take out an enemy unit, if you are the attacker, even over top of a river, you are able to make that free movement into that space. All right, so I got 14 here. So it's a three to one across the river. So just minus one, three to one. So it's a two on the three to one, which is EX, which is exchange. Exchange. Oh my gosh, there's a Home Alone board game. How does that go? That's probably, I feel like the Home Alone board game would be it should be like a Quelf style game or something like that, right, guys? Where <laughs> you have ridiculous stuff that you have to run around the house and do. <laughs> if it's not like a Quelf game, then they're missing the point. <laughs> this is a two to one, but you're in a city. So it's two to one minus. We need reinforcements. So it's a two to one because I got 18 here. You're in a city. I'm going to lose two. But I am in a city. Roll high, please. Five. So it's a three and a two to one. Any. No effect? No effect. Dang. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to shoot because <laughs> uh, you're just what, right here, just on that road? I'm going to shoot here. So that's a nine and a nine, right? So yeah, 18. Mm -hmm. A lot of the, these, I'm sorry, a lot of those old games based on movies are bad. Well, you know, there's a lot of uh, games now that are taking IPs and doing really good things with them. You have to retreat right there. Retreat, retreat. I keep on Let's... forgetting to roll my air defense, though. Let me roll this. Oh, it's a one again, anyway. Um, I don't really want to attack here. I'm in the thing. I need, like, a six as an air defense, guys. What the heck? <laughs> I'm going to attack here, which is, like, all fours, right? Yeah. So it's a four to one. But you're in the forest. I'm going to lose two. Zero on the four to one, which is EX, which is exchange. I'm not going to move forward there because I don't want to lose. My supply line's right here, though. This whole bottom edge of this row, right? Right. So I could move there. Three hexes. You have to. It's three hexes, though, away from the road. Right. I'm only from the road or from, from the my road. And line? then the road has to be clear all the way back to your reinforcement area. Okay. So that'd be one, two. So yeah, if I went there, I would be exactly three. So would I lose stuff being there? I believe it's past three. Okay. That's at least how we're going to play. I think I'm done. I don't think there's anything else I can do because I can't keep rolling and rolling and rolling, correct? <laughs> once you activate a unit, you're done? Yeah, once you activate it, they only get one attack. Each unit only gets one attack, although you have them stacked together. It's a combined attack. Yeah. But you can't, like, re-attack in different areas or anything like that. Okay. So your turn is over. I'm going to take my I've reinforcements. I've surprisingly... Poorly for a lot of four to one and three to one advantages here. That is specifically because I've been really defensible areas at this point, you know. So I get eight of the four to sevens. I'm gonna count these out really quick. <laughs> Everything looks like an ugly Christmas sweater. Is that in the Home Alone game? That's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna. I thought this would be much easier. I feel like the German should be moving forward faster faster i think it's specifically you have to be really this is this is a war game it is super tactical you really have to watch mm -hmm. where you're placing your units where you're going through exactly where you're attacking from and stuff i promise you i do not <laughs> those you want to watch that's me the not really do important that? part of of the war game <laughs> you want to watch me not do that because i bet you i can all right i need two of these eight eights in here what 
What are your? I'm getting a big supply up? right here. Okay, so, and all of mine. So mine's supply are spawn in three separate areas. This is the A area. This is the B area, and then this is going to be the C area. So I'm spawning here in C area here, okay. from here to here on this turn. Right. And I have two of the eight eights. I have one of the four eights, and then I have eight of the infantry troops. So mm -hmm. we're going to stack the infantry troops here. They have names for the moment. Which infantry unit is it? Is it the hundred first? It is the hundred and first, actually. It, it actually there? is the hundred and first. Yes, this is what this is. These guys right here. Okay. So is it actually in the game the hundred first? That's at the Battle of the Bulge. I believe it was like the 101st. I, th I believe so. Like, we can go back and fact check and everything, but I'm pretty sure it was the 101st that came in on me, that. Like, in trouble because that's, <laughs> that's who I was. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but to be fair, the Rakasans did not show up so. until like later. One, two. Okay, it's so populating one, two, three, four. So I'm four right here. I definitely want to come in here and reinforce, but I think maybe. I mean, it just makes more sense to kind of like pick down like the edge portions, right? So four, five, six, seven, eight. Hundred and seventeenth infantry regiment. Part of it. Is part of it? Yeah, I don't think that's an infantry regiment anymore. One, two, three, four. No, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna put some troops in here. Yeah, because we're talking about the latest. Tennessee. The latest. No, it's not distracted. We're going to come in here. One, two, three, four. I have to look all oh, that I would have been up, one out. I am not familiar with the Battle of the Bulge besides just out. the general. One, two, stuff. three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to come down here. I'm hoping that I can get in the right areas because I'm just one shy out of areas on here. And then. I'm always laughing by spawning because it's just you're getting reinforcements. You're not spawning. spawning. Choo -choo. Like uh, it's it's uh, that video game sort of <laughs> talk, right? <laughs> it's true. It, they're reinforcing. I always think of it as spawning, though. Like a bunch of salmon. That's upstream. right. A bunch of salmon. They come upstream and then they lay and little once, tank eggs and the tanks grow. It's once super the salmon awesome. reaches its destination, it's too exhausted <laughs> to do anything but die. Oh, giving birth to a new generation. No. All right, we're going to move the tanks together, too. And, and the bears feasted. I think we are going to keep the tanks in. Yeah, we're going to come up through the middle here because I feel like we're definitely going to need reinforcements in this middle portion here because I have a lot of infantry. Like, this is going to get wrecked here soon. So that's going to be those guys moving in here. This guy here can move now, and I believe these are all eights over here. Val says, awful green things from outer space is the best. It is the best, right? One, two, three, four. I kind of want to stay right here, maybe. Four. That is a crazy movement. Why is that a crazy movement? I'm like, went from here to here. My tanks go eight. <sighs> okay, I served with the 101st, but obviously not back during World War II. And we're going to stop. But 101st up. is a huge unit, so it's like all of Fort Campbell. Right there. And they have three You're... infantry regiments yes. there right now. Back up right there. Now, even though I'm in contact here, mm -hmm. I can still move away if right. I if I wanted to. You should. You should run. The American dog should run with their tails tucked between their legs. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. The big thing with the tanks, though, you is that you have room. to... Like, I can't go and run into this forest and hide. It has to be on an actual road. Yeah. You big sissy baby, run. What? Run home to your mother. You're in a town, and that's not cool. What are you doing in that town, huh? Just tanking it up. <laughs> There's a guy selling bread on top of the tank. Bread, fresh bread. Fresh bread for everyone. I feel like I, I want to go over there, but you're going to you're gonna beat me out on that one. So I think it may be my best bet to stay here because it's still a fortified position on this. I would have to attack, so I have to move. No, I have to move. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I want to, like, cut you off on a pass, but this road doesn't go over here, guys. Let's see. 
Where do I want to go? You have two nines here? I don't know. Yeah, you do. And you're in a town. That's just not going to be any good business at all. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to move these guys over here. But I'm not going to tell you why, because... I don't want to let Dr. Glory hog in on what I might, I might, may or may not be doing with those guys over there, okay? Okay, that's fair. Unsuspiciously, nothing is happening over there, Dr. Glory hog. Just letting you know, okay? Okay. All right. We so, don't even have intel about that city, so we don't even know. Who <laughs> oh, I need to move this guy, too, because he's not in a defensible spot, is he? No, and then these guys here, they're going to be in that town there. We're going to move this other infantry unit into that town, I think, for now. Because it's still going to take you a little bit to get over that. Here, what's happening? What's happening here? What? Not, not cool, Doctor Glory Hog. Deal with it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. And that's a town there, so we're just gonna, we're gonna. The tanks can't go through there, though. Yeah, we're gonna put this here. Because that's like a bottleneck at this point. All right. All right, Dr. Glory Hog. I am ending my turn. There is no combat on my side. Just positioning. Just positioning. Yeah, it's so gotten now, better on your side. This time, I'm going to actually roll this dice, and hopefully I'm going to roll a six and get some super awesome air support. We're going to see. Well, three is better than one. Three is better than one. I'm actually going to put this air support token out here so I remember it, okay? So that was on the 17th. Now it's on the 18th. So go ahead and take your six, nine, six tank armored units. Ooh. That sounds good. Reinforcements! The Battle of the Bulge movie was really awful. I didn't watch the movie. You know, I like war games, but I don't like war movies. I don't know why that is. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Weird. Like, war movies are not fun, but war games are lots of fun. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I used to watch war movies. And maybe it's because, like, as a kid, I think my dad really liked war movies and, like, you know, like, war game stuff and everything. And then... I was like, meh, like I got like overdone with it, but like the war games portion has always been fun, right? <laughs> oh, Martin says, hats off to you. Thanks for your service, Dr. Glory Hog. Took my firearm safety car course with a colonel from the 101st. That's really awesome. Nice. Yeah, what? I was part of the 101st, uh, uh, 1st of 187 infantry unit. So all these tanks are lazy. That's all I know. All these infantrymen are the ones who are doing the hard work. If I have to say so myself. All right, so movement time. I feel like I'm going to take these guys. Not those guys. I said two, so on a rush, just one. So one, two, three. Okay, so what are you attacking? Nothing. I moved over here. Oh, okay. I'm going to take... So just as a note, Dr. Glory Hog, if you're moving over here... Mm -hmm. I'm on a road. Right. Your tanks cannot go through a forest area. Oh, that's right. Unless there's a road through it. Your infantry units can, but your tanks cannot. Go on that road, I guess. I'll move these guys over here. Yeah, that's why I went ahead and moved this guy up here, because I knew you were going to have to possibly cross that bridge right there, and that's more I can, defensible I for me. I can move through my own units, correct? Yeah. You can only just stack four on there, like as a total. So if you want to like drop units off as you pass by, we're not dropping off. Yeah, units. we're coming in there. Like oh my nine. gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> we're taking that city. Maybe. If I can. Oh really? So the movie Battleground from 1949 was about the Battle of Bestog, but what Bestogna? Bestogia? I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. Not as graphic as Band of Brothers, but still good.
Yeah, I don't think my dad watched a lot of war movies. Maybe if he did, I wouldn't have joined the infantry. It well, might have been like... Mm. It was like the History Channel uh, in our uh, house was like always on that History yeah. Channel, you know? <laughs> so, like, there was no way not to be watching that stuff. Well, I also didn't, like, live, live with my dad, so that makes a pretty big difference. It makes a big so, difference? Yeah. That's very true. And on the weekends, it was either that watching. or Jaws, okay? So, Jaws okay. Well, or the History fair, Channel. I watch a lot of Jaws. <laughs> Jaws or the History Channel, guys. <laughs> here. I'm gonna take... Look at Dr. Glory Hog utilizing them roads. Oh my gosh, just knocking over my units. That's not how you get them. Excellent. Move out of the cities. And put some no, don't put... There. I don't want you in the city. I just said move out of the cities. I'm just going to put a bunch of tens in there instead. How many pieces do I have stacked there? I think there's more than four. Are you saying there's rather thick cardboard in there? Some of <laughs> this them. cardboard is so thick, I thought there were six pieces there. <laughs> I was like, how many pieces are over there? <gasps> Oh my goodness, so Flying Wombat says, my dad was in the 3 and 327th a Glider Infantry. Okay. I've never even heard of that before. I didn't know there was glider infantry. Yeah. Yeah. Is that where they just like, they have like those little suits and they whoosh, no, it like go down ago. under? Oh, okay. No, I mean, at a point in time, I mean, they would actually pull planes behind too, like glider planes and then let those go mm -hmm. and then those would land and stuff. So Andrea, no, we're going to be doing Undead next week, okay? And I believe that was per your suggestion, I think. So this one here is One Page Bulge, okay, that we're playing, which is a war game. And this is the Allied forces, which are in white, and then the German forces, which are in blue right now. But we will be opening up Undead on Monday, and then on Friday we'll be playing that one. I'm really excited. The box art on that and the theme and everything immediately hit me on that, you know? These are my four nines, right? So, Eric, this is going to be available. The classic pocket, pocket box games are going to be available after the Kickstarter goes out to everybody, which... We are in the process of sending those out to people. However, the quarantine has paused our processing of getting those out to everybody. So after that, then I'm sure it will be available on Warehouse 23 or your friendly local game store, guys, okay? So this is uh, three to one still. Okay. Because I've got four of the nine. All right, there. so let's see here. I have a three on there, though. That's not going to help me, though. Three to one. And are you in a city, or am I just going across? You are. And there's a river. A city and a river, so that's negative three. So three to one. So two, so zero. Zero. So three to one, which is AR, which is attack or retreat. Uh, each attacking unit must retreat one hex if it can do so. If it retreats to a hex. So I mean, I could retreat back. I, like, need something to retreat back with. Because these guys need to all go back one. I'm just going to, like, end up moving all my... There you go. Okay. They've yeah, gone back. Okay. Lame. Because they're definitely not going to attack They were not prepared for no. the might of me just, like, flexing my muscles in that city, being like, yeah, you want some of this? <laughs> so I've got 28 here. You got four. That's right. The blue, blue ones are Germany, and then the white ones are allies on this one here. <laughs> Like, what? Is there a seven to one on here? There's a six to one. This is a six to one situation right here. Holy cow. But you are across the river and in the city. So it is a negative three. Oh. So it's still a three on the six to one, which is a DE, which is defender eliminate. Remove all defending units. Yeah, that was not a good one. But you had a bunch of tanks there. Wow. It was a few. No, it was a bunch of tanks there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think there could have was, been much. It was three tanks. Much tops. of anything I could have done for that there. It's this. They're all. I got it. Yeah. I was say, they're all hanging out on that one little part of the map. That's a, it's a mountain. There's a mountain there. It's a little mountain. All right. So here, we're going to go here, which is a four. That's four to one. I need my die roll to be better on this. Four to one. And are you on something? You're not. Four to one. Ouch. How did I miss that one over there? Three, four to one. So 
defender retreat. Well, that's something. Yeah, that is something. All that right. is something. I should have moved that tank. That was my bad. Um, and I can move into that area, correct? You can move into that area now. Careful, sweet baby Jesus. I need you to fix that. <laughs> Are you able to fix this situation? Uh-oh, split your forces. Yes. Yeah, he's making headway. You know, it's a lot of units to defend with so few. I got some troops here moving in that I'm going to be able to disperse, but just not as quickly, you know? I believe these are both nine tanks here. And your guys are just in the forest. So it's a four to one, but you're in the forest. I lose two. So nine, they're both nine, 18 to eight. Yeah, they're, but okay. I could oh, use... you have eight. You have eight and I've got 16. Yeah. So it's a two to two one. Two to one. Yeah. And then I could, I could use my three here, though, to make it a one, to one, one to one. Which I think I'll do. I don't so I'm going to use my air defense here. Right. And I'm in the forest. One to one, right, and a negative two. Put the two on one to one. So attacker retreat. Dang it. Uh, how? Because they're right there. So, one I'm going to go handle that dog situation. The borking. Mild borking, guys. All right, so he's going to go ahead and retreat and... He can retreat really into either hex on either side, but I think I'm just going to put him on the road because he can move on the road anywhere that he wants on there. So we're going to put him in the road there. All right, I moved your guys here on the road because yeah. you can pretty much move them wherever you want on that road there, okay? Okay. Um, and I don't think I have anybody else that's close enough to attack, so I think that is it for me. That is it. Do You got quite a bit of forces, though, going up and around like this. We already, do have a little though. bit of a bubble going. <laughs> Let's see, are you playing the die cut pieces or the original style pieces? We are playing the little cardboard pieces. The other thing that comes in the box here, which you can play with either, it's a little paper like this here. And just honestly, I didn't want to like cut these out. So I didn't cut these out, okay guys? I used the perforated little cardboard ones because it was nice and easy. <laughs> Makes sense. The original, okay, so these are the die cuts the original pieces are thin yeah and they're a little bit thinner and i felt like i would have them a little bit harder to like pick up and with games like this when you're working with smaller pieces like this i always feel like guys all you really have to do is just like put your fingertip on it and you can pretty much pick up like Good most luck. things you know Good like luck. You can pick, you can usually pick up most things like that. I am struggling. I'm just, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Okay, so I used my air defense here. You've got long nails. I'm I sure you found weird ways of doing all stuff. All of the points, so that goes away. All right. This feels less good than I think it did. <laughs> I feel like with You're the, not the, as the happy. amassing of tanks, I feel like I should be doing more not damage. Not as happy with, if, with the results. So I'm I know we're get... using the same damage track, but I really feel like a lot of these have been bad. Six of the four sevens for me. So more infantry units are going to come out. Like, I want more tanks, guys. Our dog is being a good defender right now. He is borking at everything right now. If I can only convince him that it's our child, and that she's allowed to come in the house. <laughs> Listen, you know... It could be a tiger. It could have been anything out there. It could have been anything. Small, and that, that little dog saved us. Saved us, okay? <laughs> yes, tweezers are super super useful, right? I need to get some of those. I had I don't have tweezers. I just have a giant shark mouth. That's not gonna help. And that's not gonna help at all with this. <laughs> no, I only get six infantry units this round, guys. So I just get the six infantry. So let's see here. And this is spawning from A though. So, or I guess reinforcing from A, right. which is going to be this portion right over here, which does encompass this road here. Here, So I think I'm going to use this road. And these guys travel at a seven. One, two, 
three. I think maybe the middle of the board is going to be more important. Four, five, six, seven. We're going to put them here. Because I feel like the middle of the board's really, I mean, I need to get some people out there. We're going to put those guys there. And then I think I'm going to leave some of them because I have two more. And maybe I'll do reinforcements down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go and put them up here. So right here in these areas right here, you can't actually go through there. Okay, because it's just like the land's too messed up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see here. Like what round are we on? We are on, this is our third round. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds left on that. Okay. Let me go ahead and attack. Well, I guess move to attack. I moved in those guys here and here. I'm going to move these guys up and out right there. I'm going to move. My tank can't go through there without a road. And crossing over this is two. And I want to get into to a defensible position. So we're going to go into there. I think that there's something else scheduled right now, too. Okay. Because Hunter passed me. Ah, okay, okay. And Julie, so. Okay. So, because I think they're doing stuff from Snorton, so I think they want the channel. Okay. All right, guys. So, we're going to have to cut this short. We got some other people that are going to come on streaming, which we're super excited about. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing, but we do have virtual FNORDCon on right now. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this one-page bulge game. Clearly, I won. No, Clearly, no, won. no. My reinforcements here were really like... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I think you might have gotten this one. <laughs> I was really getting held back right here. I can see what you're saying, though. I did really start to kind of bulge in this middle area, and then I kept getting kind of, like, held back. And your reinforcements could start swooping in and kind of attacking the sides, and it really would become a situation where it kind of would bubble out. Oh, absolutely. And as you can see here on the track, I want to kind of show the track. Yeah, you get so a lot more. So you get more. super heavy reinforcements as you go through, and they come from three different areas but the here. Germans do not, which makes sense because you start off with a lot. Absolutely. But and you're then... kind of bunched up. Like, I, I had a lot, but there was, like, a lot of guys just behind other guys mm -hmm. that couldn't seem to, like, get into a good position. Well, and it's very cool the way that you move across the map because this portion here, as you're going through, like, it, it is, it does limit you versus rivers, where you can travel through right. with your armored units. And then just basically my units just impeding your pathways for you so you can't move along those paths very quickly. Agreed. You know, so the train alone is already making it so you're not advancing as fast as you would like. And then having people put in defensive positions in towns or across from bridges and stuff like that really does slow the German players down as they go across this. So Agreed. this is like a really, really fantastic game, guys. Like... You know, it's nice to be able to visit some of the older games that were made in the 80s and have them still stand up to yeah. today's stuff, you know? Like, this is a fantastic game. Now, there's a lot more to explore in this war game. For right, sure. that's super strategic and is a ton of fun to play. So, you guys, make sure and join us on Monday as we open up the Undead Pocket Box. And then, again... We're going to be doing Deadly Doodles on Thursday, and then Friday we're going to be playing Undead. And thank you for everybody who commented in chat with us today. Yeah, stick around for FNORDCon. There's some FNORDCon stuff coming up. FNORDCon. That's right. FNORDCon will be virtual. FNORDCon is all weekend long, guys. So make sure to get in line for that. You go online. I believe there's a Daily Illuminator post for it and everything, and you're going to have to get on Discord, guys, which is a free platform for you guys. So you can sign up there and then listen in. It's super exciting. Other than that, we will see all of you guys next week. We hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, be happy, play games.